All right, YouTubers, welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today, I thought we would take a look at what I think is the best tank to grind Gaijin's special events and tasks. Now, let me give you an example of one of the events that I'm referring to. Over this past Christmas, New Year's holiday, Gaijin ran the festive quest. It was from December 22nd, 2017 until January 22nd, 2018. If you completed a certain number of tasks, you were either awarded um, a couple of aircraft if you did the aircraft task or a couple of ground vehicles if you did the ground vehicles task. Now, since I'm mainly a ground forces player these days, I'm only concerned here with the ground forces task. Now, to receive the first vehicle, you had to complete seven tasks. And to receive the second vehicle, you had to complete 13 tasks. And each one of these tasks were divided into five subtasks. And you had to complete three of the five subtasks to complete a task. Now let me show you what these five subtasks were. So you had to complete three of these five subtasks. Now the numbers vary depending on whether you play SB, RB, or AB. But the five tasks are as follows. Destroy 40, 20, or 14 player controlled enemies. Gain a supporting fire achievement five times in a squad. Receive at least 2,018 points in eight, four, or four battles. Gain 10 victories with a minimum of 70% activity. And destroy 11, six, or four enemy player controlled vehicles in one battle while driving ground vehicles. Now, if I remember correctly, you had 48 hours to complete three of these five subtasks while driving vehicles of rank three or higher. After 48 hours, the task would reset and you had another 48 hours to complete three of the five tasks again. If you managed to get 13 of them completed, you got both ground vehicles. So, without further ado, the vehicle that I think is the best for grinding out these type of tasks is the Soviet KV-1 ZIS-5. Now let's take a quick look at its arcade stats. The KV-1 ZIS-5 is a rank 3 heavy tank with a battle rating of 4.7. It has a 954 horsepower engine propelling the 46.4 ton vehicle to a top speed of 22.7 miles per hour. It comes equipped with the 76 millimeter ZIS-5 cannon. The maximum ammo load is 116 rounds, but the recommended ammo load is 107 rounds. Now I have it assigned to an expert crew with a crew level of 150, which gives me a reload of 7.3 seconds. It has an XP reward of 296% and a silver line reward of 150% with a premium account. Okay, so let's take a look at the armor and weapon system of the KV-1 ZIS-5. First, let's uh, activate the armor. Okay, so as you can see, the turret is 90 millimeters. It's really good for its battle rating, but the hull consists of two layers of armor. First, you have the orange layer, which is 75 millimeters. And on top of that, you have a green layer, which is an additional 25 millimeters. The orange layer down on the lower glacius, right, has an effective thickness 
at a 26 degree slope of 85 millimeters. And then as you come up, you get that additional green layer of 25 with a layer right there on the corner. So the KV-1 ZIS-5 is extremely well protected from the front. But from the side, right, it's weaker, but it's still good at 75 millimeters of armor. And the turret side is still 90 millimeters. And if you think you're going to just pop a shot in right underneath the turret, you get the additional 25 millimeters protecting the turret ring from the side. This green also extends up a little bit over the hole, right? Which gives you uh, frontal protection for the turret ring. From the rear, right? Usually the weakest part of the tank. This is the weakest part of this tank as well, but it's still pretty good compared to the other vehicles. 70 millimeters and right there on the top an additional 60 millimeters so the kv1 zis5 is extremely well protected not invulnerable but well protected let's cut this armor off and go to the modifications now for firepower the KV-1 ZIS-5 comes with the 76 millimeter ZIS-5 cannon, which is very potent for its battle rating. Let's take a quick look at the ammunition choices. Now, when looking at ammunition choices, I usually uh, look at the penetration for 500 and 1000 meters, but I mostly uh, look around the 500 meter. So the default ammunition is the BR-350A. It has 150 grams of explosive mass and can penetrate 71 millimeters at 500 meters. That's pretty good, it's a good round. But if you need to penetrate something more, right, I do carry a few of the armor-piercing composite rigid shells the BR-350P. It doesn't have the explosive mass, um, just three kilograms, but at 500 meters, it can penetrate 92 millimeters. So if you need to penetrate some thick armor, you can use this, but you're not gonna get any explosive out of it. You're gonna have to crew snipe if you're using this ammo. My favorite is when you upgrade to the br 350B, right? Armor piercing high explosive with ballistic cap shell. It has 108 grams of TNT equivalent, 64 grams of explosive mass. It's a little less than the other one, but you get 87 millimeters of penetration at 500 meters. I find this to be a pretty good shell. It's good enough for a lot of one-shot kills. So the main reason why I think the KV-1 ZIS-5 is a really good vehicle for completing this task is its position in the tech tree. You have to do this with a rank 3 vehicle. Now the KV-1 at 4.7 comes in in the first row in the Soviet tech tree of the rank three vehicles. I believe it used to be better. I think it was a 4.3, and I was actually kind of surprised uh, to see the 4.7 battle rating when I came to do this vehicle, and that's why I kept flashing the 4.7 um, on the screen, just to make sure uh, y'all knew that it was a 4.7 now. But it's still good, but it's not as good as it was. If you come in, bottom tier on a match you're gonna fight some really strong vehicles you've got IS-2s, IS-1s in the German line right you're really gonna have problems with the Tiger H1 and the Tiger E also the Panther you'll have problems 
with the Panther D, the American line, right? Um, you'll have problems with the M4A3E276. Um, all the M4s with the 76 millimeter gun can penetrate you now. So you're not quite as good as you once were. But if you come in at top tier, that means you can open up a whole can of ass whip on the enemy team. That being said, why don't we hop into a game and see what I was able to do with the KV-1 ZIS-5. Here we go. All right, we picked up Stalingrad. We're going to be on the northeastern side of the map. So, I'm probably going to head down toward the sea point. And just so you know, I went ahead and aced the crew since I've been using this vehicle a lot. And I put some bushes on it. Not that it helps in arcade, but it may distract somebody trying to shoot my machine gun port or something like that so we'll see they have a little snow on so I'm not going to go down um, to my left over there where I go sometimes. I come over this way and overwatch the cab from behind this building over here. It's going to allow me to fire in two different directions. Oh, there would be one right here. Hello. Welcome to Stalingrad. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? I see a little red right there. Gun depression is bothering me a little bit, but right in this spot I do have just enough. Oh, yes. Please, stay right there. There you go. I appreciate that. Oh, missed him. Has he seen me yet? Well, he's seen me on the kill cam. Let's see. Yes, there we go. Got a little red straight in front of me. Anything else over here? Don't see anything. Let's pull up here and see if we can get a shot on whoever this is. An M10. Nope. A little bit more. Let me see any part of him whatsoever. Not really. Some more artillery fire coming in. Head out in an aircraft. 
Now, aircraft kills do not count um, towards your kills for the task. And it says you have to do it with ground vehicles. So, I don't even know if I'm going to make it to the battle area. We'll see. This guy, and this guy, and that's it. And that, that dude totally just kamikaze my tank. just made a beeline for it. Let's see. Got a couple of guys coming back over to this flank over here. So we're going to head over here. Somebody got the little stern panzer. Oh man, that was a bad shot. Let's see. Oh, why is he turning? <laughs> Doug, there you go. Gotta watch these guys like, trying to flank me. Oh, there he is. Lucky dude. Nope, he got behind cover. Some 
somebody's coming around that side over there. Let's see. Oh! What are you doing out in the open? Ah, bad choice. go. Alright, got the turret crew. Now we just need to get the driver. Lovely. We have temporarily interrupted this broadcast while your host regains his composure. Okay, we're going to take another one out because they're not going to knock the KV-1 out of the game that easy. Ugh, I hate planes. <sighs> okay. They have all three caps. So, uh, what to do? We've got a couple of enemy tanks right up here, but there's smoke, and I can't see where they are. Should be right up here. All right, here we go. Oh, how did that not just completely kill him? But, oh, you. Okay. You just saved your other guy. But, oh! Dang it, somebody killed him. Alright. We've got one cat back. I'm going to head over towards C. If I can stop yawning. We've got a friendly heading toward B. Hopefully he'll be able to take that guy out. If he can take B. I can get C. We'll be back to business. Oh, hello. Okay. It's another KV. Let's come up here and fight for the cap. It is road wheel. There we go. He was putting his fire out, I think. So we're just going to park right here. My teammate. Took B back for a minute, but I think he's losing it again. So I need to make sure I stay here and get this cap. Cap complete. Now we're going to head over toward B. There are three enemy tanks over there that I can see. Mini map. Not heading directly toward them. I'm going to try to sneak up on them from behind this rubble. Alright. 
two tanks. What do we got? Can I get a shot on this guy? Yes, I can. Maybe one right there. through that mantlet. I may need to switch ammo, but I really want the explosive. So, let me see. I'm going to take this cap. I can shoot this guy. Yeah. Got him. I'm going to make a run for it. Ah! See if I can get over there before he replaces his crew. No! He got me! Okay. His gunner's up. Mine's down. Okay, my gunner's back up. Now I have to reload. There you go. There you go. Alright, we got another friendly heading toward the cap. So I'm going to head over toward A. Place my crew and fix my gun, but I really don't have time right this second. Okay, he's coming to an end. Let's see, where can I get through? Where can I get through? Right up here. didn't fire! Oh. Dang it! That could have been 18! Yay! I got percentage off on something. Don't care about that. Alright. Let's take a look, see what we did. Awards, Avenger, Shadow Strike Streak, Adamant, Tank Rescuer, Double Strike, Professional, One Shot, Heavy Metal Hero, The Best Squad. My results, first place in the team, XP and credits, premium, player stats, destroyed 17 vehicles that will work how many did the rest of my team destroy huh. all right I almost got as much as the rest of the team but they pulled it out by one or two there so this guy here did good so I'm gonna send him a GG. All right. So, yeah. The KV-1 ZIS-5. Um, I am liking it for doing these events and challenges and stuff. If you get up tiered, you can struggle a little bit, but if you come in top tier, like I was this game, um, 
yeah, it can be bad for the other team. Anyway, if you've liked this video, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't subscribe. If you would, it really helps the channel. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.